Hi everyone, welcome to Cash Walks. We're in the Haraghi Plains at the moment, about an hour and a half south of Auckland. And we've found a geocache here. Now it's just an ordinary traditional geocache, nothing that special about it. But the location is really interesting. Come and see why the location's interesting. This cache was meant to be a park and grab. One of those caches you stop and get as you travel through the countryside on your way to somewhere else. Where would you hide the cache? Found it. After signing the log, we read the interesting cache description and then crossed the road to see a small monument. This looks interesting. This plaque commemorates the setting of the New Zealand land speed record by Dr. Roger Freeth on Canal West Road, Waitakaruru, on the 7th of February 1993. He drove an Indy car to record an average speed of 313.5 kilometres an hour in both directions. That is amazing. It's a very bumpy road. Here is the event t-shirt, signed at the top by Dr. Roger Freeth. Roger held a PhD in physics. The car is a Lola Ford IndyCar, single seater. This is the only photograph of Roger breaking the New Zealand land speed record on Canal West Road that we could locate. Here is Roger receiving the Castrol Trophy for breaking the New Zealand land speed record. Come for a drive down Canal West Road with us. We're travelling along at 100k and um, it's pretty bumpy, I have to concentrate on my driving. I think I could probably take it up to uh, maybe 120, but after that I think I'd be getting a bit nervous. Um, he must have been quite a driver to be able to take it uh, all the way to 300k or more. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty bumpy ride. Now let's see it the way Roger would have on the day. Roger would have been much closer to the ground than we are and in a car built for speed. The road may be bumpier than back in 1993, but by all accounts it was far from smooth. The council had resealed most of the length for Roger's attempt, but they had left a large bump in the old very bumpy roadway at approximately three quarters distance along the five and a half kilometres. This only gave him four kilometres of usable road to accelerate and then slow down. Later Roger said he may have been able to have gone faster but he had to keep both hands on the wheel due to the bumps so he could not change into higher gears. Lampposts, trees, farm fences and a canal close by there was absolutely no room for error. We decided to fly our drone up so you can see the canal and both Canal West and Canal East roads. Roger was asked what would have happened had he run into the canal and he replied that might have been a problem. After the event Roger admitted it might not have been his smartest idea. Well, this brings us to the end of our cash walk. We hope you enjoyed the information about the New Zealand land speed record on this lovely country road. So thanks for watching. And don't forget to go geocaching.